2 series is a, a brand new series from scratch. It's been eight years since the original Ultima series. And we looked at it, approached it as if uh, there was an Ultima series. What would we do today uh, with the outcome of uh, all of our research in the last years? And the configurations uh, were mostly the same, still the optimum thing. For the Salon 2, a four-way system uh, with three woofers. Uh, the Studio 2, really a scaled-down version uh, with a three-way system. Uh, for the Voice 2, it's really the configuration that works properly uh, for a center channel to have good dynamic capability. So that basic topology remained the same. However, for surrounds, uh, Eight years ago, we were using mono, low-quality surrounds that uh, were just a typical or uh, occasional flyover little ambience. Now that they're discrete, higher-quality uh, channels, the mixers have thrown everything at them uh, in terms of audio. So you really have to have a very high-quality uh, loudspeaker with timbre that matches the front speakers really well. Otherwise the sound that, even if it's mostly focused on the front channels, will be degraded uh, in the room. So that required a monopole, three-way loudspeaker, so it would have optimized dispersion, and that's the, the Gem 2. Targeted retail prices, by the way, are $22,000 a pair for the Salon 2, $16,000 a pair for the Studio 2, $8,000 uh, for the Voice 2 uh, plus stand, and $5,000 each for the Gem 2. Uh, so each of them are made at really tremendous values uh, since we've taken this leap in performance as you know, shown in our double blind listening test. Uh, they, they really compete against speakers that are many times the price. The result of, of all of these things that we've done to lower distortion is that it's, like, it's as if you're lowering the noise floor or getting real video black instead of gray. And so, you know, the, the quiet parts of the music and, and the, the spaces between the notes, you know, really become magic. Uh, it's, it's very clearly audible.